All right, I am super, super excited about this. This is an opportunity on many levels. First off, it's, Karen's been working very, very hard and she just flat out needs a vacation. So that's number one, flying from Salisbury. We love small ports. There's only two gates. One, one gate flies to Philly, the other gate flies to Charlotte. So we're flying Salisbury SBY to Charlotte, North Carolina, North Carolina to Memphis, and then about an hour and 45, well, if the weather permits, which I think we're still gonna be good to get a little window there, gonna arrive at about midnight. Um, but ice and snow is is on the on the Arkansas side. And we're headed over to meet our very good friend, Buster Cooper, Buster Duck Lodge. We're gonna go for some BAD, some bad experiences. So, yeah. I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. Oh, and, and, and it's February 2nd. It is gonna be spring snow geese. Snow goose, snow geese, however you want to say it. It's the conservation season and got an extension tube on the Super Black Eagle 3. It just feels wrong, so I can go with 10 shells. So, all right. Follow along with us if you would like. Thank you. We appreciate it. Come on, let's go. We really do like small airports. Simple, easy, easy, and simple. This is as crowded <laughs> as the parking lot gets. So. I, get, I, tra I travel well, so we're gonna, as soon as we get to sit down here, we're going to indulge, you know it, a little crown royal black. Love, are you ready? Let's do this. Are you ready? As ready as I can be. <laughs> How many snows are you going to shoot? You, you're the cold-hearted killer. No, no. I said that about the little doves, though, too. So. And you, and you, you're addicted as soon as you try. All right, let's uh, let's get all our junk inside and get this started. Okay. My cup is nearly empty. I got such a long, long, long way to go. Yeah, my cup is nearly empty. Love. I got such a long, long. How long have we been sitting here for? Sitting here for it. Uh, since like five, right? Yep. So all, all I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, is it's a good thing that we travel. Oh, yeah. We travel. Those who travel on American Eagle Flight 6113 with service to Charlotte, our aircraft did attempt to land three times unsuccessfully. Oh, they, I told the you they lost the plane. En route to Philadelphia. Jeez. We got word from dispatch saying that they are going to try to come back if weather permits to carry on this flight to Charlotte. However, I told Karen the that they lost the plane. Are, we do have to wait until the fog lifts. We are not sure if the weather will permit for the uh, for the flight to come back. As we receive any other <laughs> updates from dispatch, we will let you know. As of right now, we are looking to be rebooking you guys. Oh I can't promise anything for tonight. So we are looking for options for tomorrow if you um, if you want to be rebooked for tomorrow's flights. And you can see any one of our agents at the counters or podiums at this time. So I was really joking, Buster, for the BAD bad snow goose trip, but this is kind of love. It's kind of turning into a bad trip. Karen's head's going to explode. I, I saw a jet out there. I told you they lost it. So it was the ice that we were worried about all this time, but they're not doing this because of fog. So my mind is scrambling. I'm gonna I'm gonna go the Airbnb route. I'm gonna just in a really nice room. We got we don't have dogs. It's like we got rid of the kids, love. Love, sincerely. Come on. It's like we got rid of the kids. I prefer to go get the dogs. <laughs> this is not made up at all. I don't know. This was your fear. Yep. It's another Minnesota. It's another, here. it's another game fair. Mm. 
So I, I, I do cuss, right? Yep. I do cuss, but I'm not going to cuss right now. But this this is a this is a trend. I don't know. There was a jet outside. Oh man! I did. I really did see a jet go by. I did tell Karen it was foggy too, but. All right, so I guess we're definitely not flying tonight. All right, love. What are we doing? <laughs> That's the problem. Yeah, we don't know. I know my, co my seat's cold, I know that. Yeah. That I can 100% tell you for sure. Um, I'm going to hand this to you so I can... What, what is this? Oh, it's... It's an Amazon bag. It's an Amazon bag that when we're headed to the airport last night, Karen reached back, she said... It's not even open. She said, Jeff, what's this? I was like, ah, it's from Amazon. She says, well, obviously. <laughs> That's probably six yeah. weeks old. It's a disease. Oh, I don't know. About I was that. on ordering. Just so easy. You just hit a button. <laughs> um, timeline. I guess I, we were at the airport. What, four thirty? Mm -hmm. So, I don't know, fifteen hours later, <clears throat> we could have got. As Karen, uh, you looked up. I can't remember, yeah, I'm not sure when you looked up. Yeah, just what a time our flight land would have landed in. Um, in oh, I keep wanting to call it Minneapolis. Yeah. <laughs> Love one second. One, se one second. One second. Time out. What All right. I just changed the angle, didn't I? Okay. Does it look better? Looks the same. It's okay. It's all good. Okay. <laughs> all right. There you go. Is that all better, right, Love? A little different. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. So you're saying you keep calling it Minneapolis, but it was Memphis. And, Memphis. And you did look up and found out that. But if we got to Charlotte last night, mm -hmm. uh, the 1057 out of Charlotte got in Memphis an hour difference, but uh, Memphis at 1130. So, yeah. Uh, but at the lodge, I don't, you know, we would have got to Memphis 100%, but it, the roads do look a little sketchy. I've had a couple friends. Mm -hmm. Well, Buster himself sent us the video this morning early saying that maybe it was a good decision. And uh, Josh Butler sent me a couple little screenshots of the stuff he, from Alabama that he uses over that way for his place in, in uh, Arkansas. But, but we're in a holding pattern right now. We're just not what what we feel. It's kind of like if you've had kids, we don't have our kids right now. We feel yeah. we feel unattached a little bit, right? <laughs> a little lost, yeah. Our yeah, routine so is messed up. Yeah, but one routine that's not going to be messed up is what? Heading to Wawa. Yeah, we're going to go to Wawa. And these guys are in the ball kit. Bradley, they're in some muck. Oof. Aren't they? Yeah. They got their boards so and stuff all. Cool. <laughs> it's a good day for you? Huh? Is it a good day for you? <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> we should be in Arkansas. Arkansas? Is that where y'all going for Snuggies? That's where we were. Oh, okay. Sat, sat, in, uh, sat in Salisbury last night, the fog rolled in, right. and the plane couldn't land. Oh, man. And so we didn't get there. Karen's timeline is such. And now it's like snowing its rear end off down there. Right. So I don't know. I think we're going to. It's unfortunate. It is very. We're going to get a little bit of crappy weather tomorrow, I guess. And then yeah. it'll be done. So. Yeah, we probably won't do much tomorrow. Not here. Yeah. yeah. All right, man. Be safe. Yeah, y'all too. See you. Thanks. They're hard at it. Replaced our bulkhead. What? Like November. Yeah, through December, August, January. Spring, yeah. Yeah. yeah, like through, yeah, right at the end of my season. Yeah. Yep, last year. Mm -hmm. Now they're doing the other side, so. I don't know. Uh, at the very least, I do know we're going to Wawa get coffee. And I don't really have much more to say, love, do you? Not at this time. Except Buster Cooper. Yeah. The Bad Lodge, Bad Times. Man, like, just woke up, like, sincerely, sincerely bummed out. Yep. Yeah. But our friend Dana from Long Line. Yeah, 
Dana and his son Jeremy are there. Yep. At least yep. they shot a couple this morning. We got one yeah. video already they sent. Yeah, so hopefully they're enjoying, but it would have been nice to, to be there with everyone, have some fun. The lodge looks super nice. Got, yeah, got, got to see more video. So, I don't know. We could possibly... This is with so there's a you know next year with the sea duck season we got we had, do have a bunch of breaks and um the, the the november to december break for us be a good time to go go shoot down there yeah one thing i've i've, I've shot i've shot levied fields from pits i've never really done good good timber before mm. so um i don't know what you got i i think i would like to Go you, from BWI next time. <laughs> this well, is two trips now. Well, truthfully, and, and like we say, we love, or at least I say, I love small mm -hmm. airports because it is so easy. But that is that is the that is the negative yeah. of the small airport is that that's your only option in town, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We love the convenience, and that's, you know, I don't want to travel to BWI because it's two and a half hours away. But um, yeah, it's kind of it just is very disappointing. Yeah. Yep. So you are stuck with it. Uh, again, I think I, I think I said it last night walking up that you know the one one little jet flies to Philly, one little jet flies to Charlotte, and they go back and forth, and that's it. And that's all you got. So when when it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Um, but you know, but honestly, game fair didn't work out. We did we did go to Philly, right? Yes. So, I mean, there was a lot of options there. It just it was happened to be on a, a busy Friday. Yeah. Um, and we did check all any other airlines that we could, that we could, we could possibly do so. Yeah. It's just, you know, the time allotted to be able to do this was just yeah. kind of small. And this the is, weather. right. And that, I'm not, I'm not blaming you, but I'm just saying, like, you're, you're, you definitely had your window of opportunity to do this. Yeah. So, That's what happens when you have a real job. Love, somebody's gotta have a real job. <laughs> I do have a real job. Come on, now you're, <laughs> you're the one that says it. Here's here's seriously, seriously probably too much information. My mother lives with us. She would be happier. She could tell her friends that Jeffrey works at McDonald's and works a full forty hours and he's got a real job. <laughs> and he's done so well that they're gonna move him up to French fry fryer soon. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> McDonald's is a really good start for a lot of people. Love. I'm talking about at my age, she would be happier. <laughs> would hey, she not? Hey, a job's a job. Yeah. Lucky you have a job. She says I don't have a job. I know. And that's the whole play on words about the real job. There's nothing wrong. If hey, if you can make eighteen dollars an hour at McDonald's, God love you. Um especially if you're 16, 17, 18 years old. Because I was making three thirty-five an hour when I was 15, <laughs> 16, 17 years old. So, anyway. Now, the pond looks the most we've seen it frozen. Yeah, it's weird. Okay, look at her. Ah, uh, there might be. Like, that's a big legal stand on this, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we regress, digress, regress, progress. Any other grass that we can do. So, <laughs> I did have a, a good idea this morning. I asked Karen if we had a bottle of champagne, we could ease mm. our way. We could ease our way into the morning. Yes, and Cheers is open. Not straight up champagne. We would do mimosas. Oh yeah, well, that's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. But I said ease our way into yeah, the, yeah, yeah. ease our way into Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers is open. We should go by. <laughs> Doesn't have to be expensive, right? No. Nope. Yeah. Okay, that's on our list. After coffee. Boom! Boom! Boom and boom. Thinking of you, we are. Um, all right, I'm. I'm thinking I'm done. I, you know what? I'll probably do right in here. I know Buster's uh, been kind enough to keep me up to date with the videos. I've been putting some reels on on um, Instagram. Been actually, I've just gotten into doing any of those little any of those little uh, reels that I do or whatever. 
any short video, excuse me, let me rewind. I have been putting them here on YouTube too, so. But um, thank you for following along. Not quite the getaway, the bad, the B-A-D getaway that I thought it was going to be. But uh, appreciate you following along. Thank you very much. Once again, thank you for also following along because we are strongly over 10,000 subscribers now, love. Officially this morning. Very cool. Yeah, so congratulations to you. Congratulations um, to you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for following along. More to come, more to follow. Thinking of you, we are. And here is... We're not here, but here's some bad lodge. Permanent spread. Buster Cooper style, bust a duck. Still use footage. Boom, boom. Ah. Bad moments coming from the kitchen here at uh, the Bad Lodge. Uh, temperatures dropped about 20 degrees and we're doing our steaks in the cast iron skillets. Actually, my great grandmother's cast iron skillet. And uh, we've got a lot of the guys here goose hunting. Maryland, North South Carolina, Maryland. And the pit boss is coming in. Says he's coming in. We haven't seen him yet. I don't know. Him and Karen may get laid over at an airport or something like that. But look what you're missing out on. Thinking of you. Oh, yes, we are. Till next time. Hey, bad snow goose hunts. 2022 has begun pit boss got snowed in flights canceled he's not going to make it today we got 25 30 mile an hour wind snow freezing rain check this out yep pit boss <laughs> you and miss karen Y'all may have made the right decision, or the airlines may have made the right decision. We're going for it. We're going to do it the bad way. Till next time. Well, life has nearly killed me, and my mind has put me on the edge. Bad snow goose hunts 2022 has begun. Pit boss got snowed in, flights canceled. He's not going to make it today. We got 25, 30 mile an hour wind, snow, freezing rain. Check this out. Yep. Pit boss. <laughs> you and Miss Karen, y'all may have made the right decision, or the airlines may have made the right decision. We're going for it. We're going to do it the bad way. Till next time. All right. The bad grind continues. I got the future uh, bad hunters. And what we do on uh, days like this is we leave the bad taxi running. Heater's on, engine's running, tank's full of gas. That way we know they start when we come back and it actually keeps things thawed out. So a little bit of experience helps out. All right, we're going to do the spread. You ready? Let me show you a bad lock. Till next time.
Lady. Lady. Okay, here's your bad moment coming from the bad taxi. Lady, we well, hey, us old folks had to go back to the cabin, don't we, girlfriend? Hey, she had a great time today. We're heading back to the lodge, get some things done. She's tired, but you know what? She's doing what she loves. So she meets her maker with a duck or a goose in her mouth. She'll, she'll go happy. So uh, I'm not going to leave her at home. Take her with me and just deal with it. I wouldn't want her to leave me at home. Thanks to everybody who has supported Busted Duck Guide Service. Until next time. This is my